Moving on to analyze the impact of business transactions on accounts. As I mentioned to you earlier, every transaction that we have, every economic event, when we record the transaction of the economic event, we have what's called a dual entry system in accounting. That means that we're double entry of accounting. That means there are at least two accounts, a minimum of two accounts impacted by every transaction. And what we're going to practice is using what's referred to as a T account. The T account is not a formal way, a formal item that you use in account. There's nothing formal about a T account. The T accounts are just a way of showing how the accounts are managed, how each account is increased or decreased and what the balance is of every account. So I'm gonna do one more thing on this accounting equation. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add DR to the left side of the equation and I'm going to add CR to the right of the equation. And what I want you, when, when, you know, we've already defined assets, we've defined liabilities, we've defined equity. This, the debits and credits, I need you to promise me something. Okay, I need you to promise me something. I need you to, whatever you understand debits or credits to be, I need, I need you to just forget about it. I need you to access your brain. I need, it, I need you to access all the entries in your brain about debits and credits. And I want you to select those entries in your brain. I want you to access them, select those entries, and I want you to delete them. If you, if you try to use what, you're, what you maybe have used those terms for in the past, if you try to use those terms and, and, and relate them to what we're gonna go, go over right now, it's just going to confuse you. I want you to take my words verbatim, literal, okay? I'm literally meaning, when I give you a, me a meaning or definition of a debit and a credit, take it literally, okay? There's no speculative element of it. There's no, well, you, well we want to make it like this or that. No, no, I'm going to give you specific de definitions that you need to take literally, okay? Therefore, if I want to define debit, well, all I need to do is look at the accounting equation. And I see where, I, and where did Andy put it on the accounting equation? Well, he put it above, he put debits and credits above the accounting equation. That's good, but what also, where else did he put it? He put debit on the left side of the equation. Debit is on the left side of the equation. Can you remember that? Debits on the left side of the equation. Credit, scholars, where is, I don't know, what, what, credit? Oh my goodness, you figured it out even before I said it. Credit is the right side of the equation, okay? Credit is on the right side. So when you're thinking of debits and credits, I want you to think of it in that context. Take it literal. Debit means left side of the equation and credit means right side of the equation. <clears throat> what that means is you've got to let everything go. You got, you've got to any get, don't go getting your wallet out and pulling out a card and saying, wait a minute and start looking at, it. you got to let that go. Cause that's, it's only going to confuse you. At some point in time, I may be able to explain to you why your card is referred to as a debit card. And we'll get to that. But for now, I just need you to forget about it. Okay, let's take the words that I'm explaining to you literal. Debit means left side of the equation, credit is right side, okay? So when we're creating these T accounts, let's say one specific account, we have a left side and we have a right side. The debit is the left side, the credit is the right side. So we use every account, in every account there will be debits and there will be credits. Debit is the left side, credit is the right side. Now, this is probably going to be one of the most tricky things that you have to learn in accounting. It's not that tricky if you just take my words literally, okay? 
Now you can look at this and begin to and, and, and memorize this, but here's what I want you to remember. Let's go back to the accounting equation. Debits are on the left side of the equation. You guys see that? Okay, debits are on the left side of the equation. What's also on the left side? Assets. Assets are on the left side of it. So normally speaking, and there are gonna be some exceptions to the rules. Some exceptions to the rules. But whenever we are going to be increasing, increasing an asset means debit. And you ask, why? And I'm gonna tell you because assets are on the left side of the equation. Don't, that's it, that's all you have to remember. It's that simple if you get all, if you start trying to analyze this and draw lines right now between your experiences, it'll just confuse you. Take it literally. Debit means left side of the equation. If I want to increase, assets are on the left side of the equation. If I want to increase an asset, I debit it. Debit, left side. If I want to decrease, to decrease an asset is a credit. I don't know, let's take a look at our notes here. Assets, left side of the equation. If I want to increase an asset, I debit it. If I want to decrease, I credit it. Don't ask why. Well, you can ask why. Go ahead, ask me why. Okay, I'll tell you why. Because the definition of a debit is left side of the equation. Assets sit on the left side of the equation. Therefore, to increase an asset is a debit. To decrease it is a credit. Got it? Very good. Liabilities. Liability sits where? They sit on the right side of the equation. So if you want to increase a liability, you credit it. To increase a liability, you credit it. Why? Because liabilities are on the right side of the equation. The definition of a credit is the right side of the equation. To increase a liability, you credit it. To decrease, to decrease a liability, you debit it, okay? You just go in the opposite direction. Again, don't try to draw any lines right now. Just take the words I'm saying very literal. I'm gonna delete this for now because that's gonna be in our way. And then equity, this one you should be able to figure out. Equity is on the right side of the equation. Hmm, that one's a toughie, right? No, it's not. It's the same thing as your liabilities. If you want to increase equity, you credit it. Why? Because equity sits on the right side of the equation. If you want to decrease an equity, you debit it. Why? Because equity sits on the right side of the equation. You guys got it? I hope so. Okay, so that's exactly what this says. The type of accounts determine how to record increases and decreases. So therefore, I don't care what asset it is, whether it's cash, accounts receivable, inventory, supplies, land, whatever account. If you're gonna increase it, it's a debit. If you're gonna decrease it, it's a credit. Liabilities, same deal. You want to increase a liability. The only liability we've worked, to, worked with so far is accounts payable. If you increase accounts payable, it's a credit. When you decrease a liability, it's a debit. And then the stockholder's equity, well, the first thing we had was common stock. That increased equity, so that's gonna be a credit. Revenues are increases, so those are gonna be credits as well because they increase stockholder's equity. However, expenses and dividends decrease stockholder's equity. Therefore, they are debits, okay? So if we go back to the transactions and we look at it from a T account perspective, I'm just gonna, I could draw these up again, but I'm just gonna follow these. 
I'll, I'll use a spreadsheet, but just to kind of reflect that. So what happened first? The first thing happened on number one, tra the first transaction, we increased cash and we increased common stock. You guys remember? Okay. Increased cash. If we have an increase to cash, is that a debit or a credit? You got it. It's a debit. A debit, why? Because it's on the left side of the equation. The definition of a debit is left side of the equation, assets set. If we want to oh, we'll go down here, if we want to increase debits, if we want to increase assets, it's a debit. We increase cash. So if I draw a T account here, here's my T account. I draw my T account, put cash here, and I'm going to increase it. I'm going to debit my cash $50,000. You guys see that? By the same token, common stock was increased as well. Remember when we did the spreadsheet shows $50,000, that was a positive impact to common stock. Common stock though sits on the right side of the equation. So we increased equity, equity specifically common stock for $50,000. That increase is on the right side of the equation, therefore it's a credit. So that's how we got our debit. Our debit is to cash for $50,000. Our credit is to common stock for 50,000. The next transaction, what happened on the second transaction? We purchased land for cash. We increased land, decreased cash. The rule is if we increase an asset, whatever the asset is, we get a debit. So therefore land, land, the T account land, we're gonna create this T account we're going to debit it for $40,000. We're going to credit cash, $40,000. Credit is on the right side of the T account. 50 debit, credit, we're going to net these and this gives me a balance of what? 10,000, but it's a 10,000 debit. 10,000 debit. Debits are greater than the credit, so you have a 10,000 debit balance here. 10,000 is our balance of cash. By the way, that's what we have in cash. So $10,000. Land has a debit balance of 40,000. Well, that's what we paid for. Common stock has a credit balance of $50,000. 10, 40, add those up. These are debits, by the way, they're 50. This is 50. At the very top of the accounting equation, debits equal credits. That's an accounting rule that never fails. Debits always equal credits. Additional stockholders, equity accounts, revenues, and expenses. These are stockholder equity. They fall under the equity section, but there are revenues. Revenues increase stockholders' equity, which we learned that already, and expenses decrease stockholders' equity. So let's take a look. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. The equity section in more detail includes common stock, retained earnings, and dividends, revenues, and expenses. Revenues and expenses get reported on the income statement. We've already seen this. And dividends are reported on the statement of retained earnings. So let's get a little more clear of how the stockholders equity section works. We already know, we already talked about how common stock is an increase to equity, therefore it's a credit. Retained earnings is also gonna have a debit and credit. If we want to increase, it, it'll be a credit. Why? Because it's on the right side of the equation. If we wanna decrease it, it's a debit. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky here. We broke down retained earnings more specifically into these accounts here, right? Revenues follows right along with, with retained earnings. Revenues, if we want to increase revenues, we will credit it. Why? Because it falls right in line with the right side of the equation, credit, debit. We have to remember that dividends and expenses are a little bit different. Why are they different? Because dividends and expenses decrease stockholders equity they decrease stockholders equity so their normal balance to increase a dividend is going to be a debit 
to increase in expense is going to be a debit. So this is going to seem like it's working against what we've already talked about. Well, Andy, it's on the right side of the equation. So why does it follow the rules? Well, the reason why it doesn't follow the rules is because dividends and expenses reduce stockholders' equity. Therefore, if you want to increase an expense, it's a debit. Debit decreases stockholders' equity. Same with dividends. Dividends reduce retained earnings or stockholders' equity, and therefore they carry a debit balance. Debits for dividends and expenses. Now you do you can have credits as well, but those are going to be a reduction of dividends, and a credit here in expenses is going to be a reduction of expenses. These are not too common, so here's what you have to remember: debit, debit, dividends, and expense. <laughs>